show then more generally that if x is normal distribution with a mean of mu and the variance of sigma square, so you've seen that I've generalized it completely now, not a mean of zero, but mean of mu, and the variance of sigma square, not being a variance of one like I've used, that now the MGF looks like this, e to the mu of t plus half mu squared t square show this uh, you and um, you'd be using the, exactly the same method as I was uh, I just shown you so um, that's something that you want to try uh, I might put up the video for that at a later date but uh, I always like you know students have a try it's the same method and if you can work yourself through this then you've understood what I've done you know, just to recap how you do it you write down the uh, f um, the uh, form write down the formula for MGF put in the uh, PDF and then the idea is to use completing the square to separate out in the exponential term something that does not depend on t um, x with something that does depend on x and the thing that depends on x is going to be squared and hence you've got some kind of normal and that which will integrate to 1 um, as always let's um, we've got the MGF so what you know well, well we can use it to compute moments. So let's just show that we can do that. Let's just do the first couple of moments. The first moment, e to the x, we know is first derivative of m with respect to t. How we're going to differentiate this thing? Uh, chain rule. So consider e to the half u, where u is equal, no, no, not even have that, e to the u. Can we bring that u closer? Consider e to the u, i.e. let e to the u equals e to the half t square, this mgf, where u is equal to the half t square. Then we know that if I do this derivative of mt, that will be using the chain rule, um, dm, let's call this whole block m, by du dot du by dt and so what do we have uh, dm by du is eu du by dt that's bring down the two twos cancel with the half so you've got t substitute back for the u uh, that's e to the half t square times t Therefore, we can say that this first moment, which is equal to the first derivative of the moment generating function evaluated at zero, plug in zeros for here, e to the power of zero is one times zero, zero, which is what you'd, ex which is what you'd expect because we already said that z is normal um, mean of zero and variance one. Okay, yeah, and just in case anybody sh um, kind of points out to me in a video. Yes, I've suddenly gone to using x. I have kind of a liking for x, so I use it all the time. No, we're working with z's, remember, right at the start I told you we're working with z's, so where else is z, 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 z? Okay. First thing. Next thing, variance. So for that I need the second moment as well. The second moment of z squared is going to be the second derivative of the moment generating function evaluated at zero. But we already found um, the first derivative. The first derivative was is this. So we have to differentiate again. How? This time that's a t dot another t, so that's a product rule, isn't it? So um, differentiate, let's write down this thing, differentiate this thing, write down t, differentiate that thing, but this thing is, um, we've already done it in the first step, so we just kind of write it down, e to the half, to get the first moment that was, e dot t, remember this expression, we did that from here, plus, and then now write this thing, half t squared, and differentiate this guy, so that's uh, 1, dot 1, therefore, second moment, e x squared, which is equal to the second derivative value at zero, is equal, plug in t is zero, that whole thing goes to zero because that's zero times something that's finite, it's going to be zero, plus uh, e to the 
zero here is one times one, one. Don't stop there because I know like you might automatically just stop there and God why have I done it again? Well, Z, right? Okay. Uh, well, I've not got any excuses really, um, but at least I've spotted it. Okay, therefore, variance of, wait for it, Z, yes, is equal to the second moment of, let's not therefore, uh, this is true anyway. So, since variance of Z is equal to the second moment of Z minus the first moment of Z all squared, we can plug those in now. I'm running out of paper as well, so it's good we're finishing. E of first moment squared is one minus the second moment, second moment, sorry, which is one because I've just done it. First moment was was zero all squared. It's going to be zero, obviously. There, finished. So I've shown that the using the MGF that the variance of uh, z is one. Phew. Okay, so um, that's it.